Hi, I'm Cameron with CanCam CNC Machines and today we're going to show you a, a maintenance video here of how to maintain your C2 machine. On the left side of the gantry here on the back we have our oil pump. This is very important to spread the oil throughout the machine. It gets on all our linear guides and all the bearings and ball screws. So just above the grease pump we have our first intersection of uh, tubes here. All of these connect to our rails and linear guides and they spread out between both these manifolds. So our first set of grease lines connect here to our linear guides on our Y axis. There's some at the front here and there's also some at the back. On the right side of your gantry there is the same linear guides on the front and the back as well. And then moving on to the X axis linear guides we have a distribution manifold here it pushes the grease to a linear guide at the top, a linear guide at the bottom, and then there's also another set of identical linear guides on the opposite side. Here we have our ball screw for our z-axis. There is one oil line that feeds into the ball nut and greases the ball screw. Here on our z-axis we have four linear guides. We have the top one, bottom one. On the other side it's exactly the same. Inside this cover, there's a manifold that distributes the grease to all four of these. So for our grease pump here, initially it's gonna need a few pumps to prime the grease. So we'll make sure we do that a few times. We're gonna do it four times. Now, looking at all of our linear guides and the ball screw, at those locations, we wanna see the grease uh, just coming out of the bearings. So to be certain, that everything is greased properly, you would pump this two or three times and then do a check at each of those locations that I just showed you. As you can see with this linear guide right here, we have some grease coming out of the guide and we know that the grease is good for this location. So over here on the right side of our gantry, it would be the farthest location from our oil pump which is on the left side of the gantry. Um, this is going to be the location where the grease is going to have the hardest time to get to. So check these when pumping the grease and if it reaches here and it reaches all the other locations then you're good. Here we have our air regulator at the back of the machine. We want to make sure that our air tube in is dry air coming from the compressor and also that the air regulator is filled with the appropriate air tool oil. Here we're at the back of our machine looking at the linear rail of the Y axis. Uh, part of the greasing process, you may find that debris builds up on this rail. It's important to clean that off and make sure that there's never too much of that. Here we're looking at the rack on our Y axis at the back of the machine. It's important to make sure that there's no debris in any of these teeth and that it's maintained and clean. Here we have our vacuum table on one of our C2 machines. Uh, it's important to maintain this gasket below your spoil board. This gasket can have tears, it can be worn down. The more you remove the spoil board, the more this gasket can be damaged. And if the gasket is damaged, you'll have suction loss in your vacuum system. For the spoil board on top, to also maintain good suction, you're going to want to vacuum that spoil board and make sure there's no dust or debris on there and your material will stay very well in place. Here we're looking at the spindle taper. It's good to ensure that the taper is clean. It is a perfect mating surface between the tool holders and the taper here and if it's not uh, perfect and there's dirt or debris built up in there, you're going to have precision issues. To clean it, take a soft cloth and simply wipe the entire taper. Before doing this, make sure that your machine is turned off. Here's one of our tool holders. Um, as the tools sit back here, dirt and wood dust can build up on the taper. Uh, it's important to also clean this taper similar to the spindle taper just by using a soft cloth 
and it's good to go. Make sure to clean all components of your tool holders. The collet. The collet nut. And the tool holder. Inside as well. And then a last wipe lightly with your hand to get rid of any residual fabrics. Thanks for joining us for our maintenance video here at CanCam. If you have any questions, please reach out to our support team at support at cancam.ca.